Okay, so the first card is about devotion, and maybe you know you're involved in a relationship that you've been putting all your efforts and energies and focusing on it. So you've given a lot of yourself to it. Uh, there might be some kind of uh, triangle, uh, a love triangle. There might be two other people or three people that you're dealing with at this particular moment, and this might be causing a little bit of problems because it is causing a little bit of strife over there. So there's a there's a tr love triangle, or there's some threesome there's something that is going on with two other involving two other people that is presenting uh, a lot of problems uh, but you are quite devoted to this relationship you're putting that effort and energy you can see this person is pretty tied um you know uh because of all the energy that you've been putting in it so you are very focused on making this relationship work but there is something that's presenting some kind of problem you are dealing with some kind of uh, love triangle or something that involves uh, a few other people now, in the past, you've got the Justice card over here, so there might have been some legal decision or something official that you were waiting for, that uh, or some kind of decision that was passed. Uh, there could have been some kind of compensation or payout that came out due to whatever that decision was. So it seems like there was, uh, you benefited from whatever that decision was. So going into the future, you've got the social rituals and the strategy. So social rituals is talking about going out there and making friends, meeting people, uh, you know, getting out there, putting yourself out there and, um, uh, you know, collaborating with a lot of people, or meeting a lot of people, uh, especially if you want to start a new relationship or maybe if you want to bring some life back into this old relationship. It is time for you to get out there and push yourself out there. And you've got a strategy card over here. So whatever you're uh, involved in, if you're dealing with three people, you need to have a proper strategy in place uh, in order for you to sort through the situation. So be uh, planned out, really. So have a plan in place uh, before you approach any anything or if you do if you want to do anything make sure that you are thinking very strategically um you know i'll think of long-term uh, effects of what goes on right now um you know and um and have a plan in place so those are the energies for those two weeks so i'm using the symbol on uh, deck for the main read And this is not a tarot deck, uh, so um, it's not going to have the same symbology as the traditional Rider Waite deck. So you might be married at the, at this particular time because this is the card of marriage, and you know you. Um, it seems like, um, you know, this is, it seems like it's a really stable relationship. Uh, you are uh, with somebody, you're working towards future goals, uh, you know, you're setting down roots, getting yourself established, and moving to the f uh, future together, you have a common vision in mind. So that seems to be, you know, um, you know, it seems like there's a lot of harmony that is going on over there. Now, uh, you've been thinking a lot about the past. Um, you've got this card of memory over here. So thinking about the past, uh, remembering events that happened a lot about the past. Maybe, you know, things that were not so good, things that were good. Uh, but definitely, um, you know, this is almost like the Six of Cups, remembering things that happened in the past. Or even meeting up with people from the past. You've got this card of, um, you know... Um, something happening uh, in the past. Maybe there's an event that you remembered from the past where you made some kind of mistake. It was an unintentional uh, action on your part um, that caused somebody else to be hurt in the process. And maybe you're remembering that and you're feeling a bit guilty about it. It's because this is the card of guilt. You know, this man is going to be shooting, uh, the, uh, throwing that spear and he accidentally hits this unicorn. So something that you did by mistake, uh, you know, uh, destroyed something wonderful in your life and maybe this is what you've been thinking about uh, recently so you've been spending a lot of time um, you know uh, remembering some kind of event or even feeling beating yourself up, up about that event that happened uh, you know maybe it, it happened by accident and it wasn't your fault and um, but you still feel a little guilty for whatever happened so uh, something that has happened that you have been thinking about the past now, in the past year, you've got this uh, card about being you know, a little bit reckless in how you've been handling things. Uh, maybe you've been having, you know, having your head in, your, in the clouds, not really making proper plans, uh, you know, having some kind of uh, vision in your head and not really watching out for any kind of pitfalls. So you've got this um, 
broken bridge over here and this man is walking looking up at the sky rather than looking at where he's walking and this is bound to end up uh, in a disaster so um, you know you have been uh, maybe not been basing a lot of things on reality and you know having a, uh, a lot of uh, ideas in your head uh, you know making a lot of plans but not really applying these plans to whatever you've been doing uh, maybe there's also a broken relationship that you're trying to heal or mend or you're trying to transform yourself into something else um, but you're not actually basing those plans on reality. Now, because of that, uh, you know, um, this has led to a little bit of depression. Um, you know, you, you maybe you have visions or you have expectations that are just uh, not going to be able to be realized. And this is making you feel a bit depressed. You can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you're feeling a bit un unhappy about this. Maybe you've been also spending a lot of time by yourself feeling a bit miserable uh, because these real, uh, you know, these expectations that you have out of, you know, maybe from this relationship in itself may not be uh, very reality based. Um, you know, you need to get out of that um, uh, energy of feeling down or thinking too much about the past. It seems like, you know, you might be calling into memory events that, you know, it's best forgotten and it's best to move away from that energy. Um, <clears throat> if you're feeling guilty about something, you know, you can't change it. So rather than getting depressed about it, it is best to move away from it. Focus on the now rather than focusing on what could have been. So you've got, um, you know, you're thinking about this relationship, um, uh, maybe you and your partner are having a little bit of problems. There might be a little bit of difficulty in communication. There might be some arguments that are coming on. So there seems to be difficult communication, maybe some fighting going on, and maybe this has been playing on your mind. Maybe this has been uh, you know, brought to mind an event that happened in the past because you are starting to have a little bit of difficulties. There's, uh, you know, a little, you're um, hitting a few hitches. Uh, you know, all relationships are not smooth sailing and this might be just an argument that might just end up blowing over. You might be feeling a little bit uh, restricted as well by this relationship. Uh, you know, you're feeling as though this person is um, maybe telling you what to do and, uh, you know, you're not very, ha very happy about it. You're feeling as though you're a bit controlled. Uh, being manipulated within the situation. So it feels like, you know, you've got this feeling as though, you know, you want to be in control um, and uh, this person is telling you what to do. And this is probably, you know, causing a little bit of arguments and fighting that is going on. There might be a power play that is going on, power struggle going on within that relationship. And this is causing that depression. Now, it is a, a reasonably stable relationship, you know, and, you uh, the card below it is about not telling each other everything and, not, you know, keeping secrets from each other. So, you know, you and your partner need to actually open up to each other in order for you to make this relationship work. And, you know, if you're feeling as though this person is controlling you too much, you need to bring that to light. You need to tell them, uh, you know, don't let it end up in a, a situation where you're fighting with each other over it. You feel as though you're making a lot of sacrifices for this particular relationship and that you're carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities. Maybe you feel like you're doing all the work in this relationship relationship and maybe you're doing all the nurturing maybe you have a family together and you are doing all the you know you're you're looking after the children or you're looking after all the things that are going on in the home and you're feeling as though that's a lot of responsibilities and burdens so really it is a time for you people you know to get together to share things now whatever happens um from this you've got this phoenix rising you'll get over this situation it 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 shows that, you know, whatever problems and obstacles that you are encountering at this particular moment, you will be able to overcome it and you will be able to move on. Now, going into the future, you've got this uh, card of feeling very isolated and depressed and miserable and lonely. And, you know, this might be, you know, if, if uh, you don't open the channels of communication, this is where things uh, will be heading. Also, it might be, you know, you might be feeling as though uh, you haven't achieved what you wanted to achieve. And this is making you feel very miserable. And in itself, it's isolating you uh, from your partner. Um, and because of that, you know, you might be feeling as though uh, you all are moving in different directions, that you all are not... Uh, you know, connecting with each other anymore. Maybe you feel as though the vision that you had or the way your relationship is going is not the same. Maybe you you see things in different ways and different things. And this is the reason why you do need to open that communication, that channel of communication. Now, you all are still connected because you can see this man is still holding this woman's hand. Um, you know, so you all are still connected. It's just that maybe you'll see things in different ways. You're growing in different directions. But in order to bring yourself back on track again, you all need to uh, speak to each other. 
Um, and, you know, you need to get out of that feeling about, uh, you know, um, feeling depressed or miserable or upset every time you have some kind of disagreement or some kind of argument. So these seem to be really, you know, they might be small problems uh, that can be just dealt with if you open the channels of communication and, uh, you know, um, express how you feel. Uh, and don't isolate yourself uh, from your partner. You need to really talk to each other. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. The relationship itself seems to be reasonably stable. It seems to be a good relationship, but for the fact that you are not communicating with each other and that you do need to speak to each other so that you don't feel as though you're the one that is carrying all the burdens, doing all the hard work in that relationship, and you're not being recognized for it. Now you've got the King of Michael, and this is a card that is saying wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So it looks like you all do need to talk to each other. You all need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with each other and, and speak to each other and tell each other exactly what is going on. You've got the Lovers card over here, so making choices from the heart, deeply emotional commitments, and the power of love. So it looks like once you do that, you know, there is some kind of choice that is coming up over here and you need to find that balance again within that relationship again and don't give up with this just justice card it seems like you know um, you will rekindle that love or that relationship but you do need to be very very clear and open up uh, that channel of communication and talk to each other and find that balance back again uh, now if this is any kind of legal situation that you're going through but the rest of the cards are not indicating any kind of breakup as such um, but if it is any legal situations there looks like there will be some kind of choice and a decision will be made uh, you know you don't want to end up with a relationship uh, that is legally uh, severed if you're married you don't want to end up with a divorce that didn't need to happen uh, and it only happened because there was a lack of communication so it's very important to put your cards lay your cards on the table and it's important for you to communicate uh, how you're feeling exactly how you're feeling to your partner and stop isolating yourself and stop thinking about the past events that have happened have happened and they've gone and you know you need to stop uh, the blame game uh, you stop playing the blame game um, so both of you need to uh, be very open and honest and speak, uh, say whatever you're feeling and whatever you're thinking and get that balance back in that relationship in order for you to overcome these problems and move on. So I do hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.